This is the house where Cheng Guangcheng was imprisoned for years. Despite winning his freedom last month, his mother still holds on to his belongings. But she makes it clear she doesn't wish for her son to return. Come back for what? He's already spent seven years in this village. There's nothing to eat and nothing to drink to make his leg get better. The blind rights lawyer was injured during a daring escape. His family says he first faked sickness with guards and then climbed over eight walls to get to a road. The last and tallest wall is where he broke his leg. Uh, it's a bit difficult for him to climb down. The height is more than four meters. Chen's activism and his flight to freedom have made him an international beacon for justice. He now lives in New York, granted permission by the government to leave China to study law, following intense negotiations. While Chen is now free, other activists continue to face severe treatment by Chinese authorities. Torture and imprisonment are hallmarks of a recent campaign to crack down on those fighting for more rights. There was this week's death of Li Wangyang. Police say the Tiananmen activist hanged himself. Virtually deaf and blind, his distraught family believed he was instead beaten to death by local officials. The suicide faked. Activists now say Li's body's been cremated against his family's wishes for an independent autopsy. Back in Cheng Guangcheng's village, neighbors remain fearful of government retribution. The blind activist's nephew remains in jail, punishment, his family believes, for Chen's escape. Not long after the media arrive, a group of men order all visitors to leave. A hard reminder of the control faced by the people and their families who are seen to challenge Chinese authority. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera. Hong Kong.